what's the best way to get rid of a yeast infection? This may seem so obvious, but I think it's something that a lot of us forget to do because we're just so uncomfortable. The first thing to do if you think you have a yeast infection is to make sure you get tested so that you know that the symptoms you're having are actually being caused by yeast infection. Our vaginal healthcare is so limited that I think a lot of times we associate discomfort, change in discharge, itching, burnings with a yeast infection. But the truth is yeast infections can be confused with a lot of other vaginal infections and even some STIs. And the truth is that when it comes to yeast infections, being misdiagnosed actually happens more than being correctly diagnosed. Up to 77% of yeast infection diagnoses are incorrect. So the second thing to do if you think you have a yeast infection is to make sure you actually know what type of candida is overgrowing in your vaginal microbiome and causing a yeast infection. Because the treatment protocol for candida albicans is different than the treatment protocol for candida glabrata. And you can actually do this with an Evy vaginal microbiome test. It will tell you not only the type of candida that's overgrowing in your vaginal microbiome, but also any other microbes in the vaginal microbiome and a care plan that can include treatment tailored to you.